We often report on the dangers of the internet and its benefits. But balancing those dangers and those benefits can of course be tough, especially for schools. News 10's Joe Ostrowski introduces us to a group of high schoolers who says that balance needs some work. It's not unusual to see high school grads walking out of school, but these students in Olney, Illinois, are walking in protest. Their concern? A 13-year-old federal law called the Child Internet Protection Act. It requires schools to put special software on computers to keep out harmful websites. But the students say it's also keeping them from researching controversial topics. Well, subjects like gay marriage and infantile abortion, religious affiliation, they are all blocked by the internet filtering system here at the school. The students say that law, also called SEPA, needs to be clearer. But while they have concerns, those who work in education technology say online dangers make SEPA important. Child pornography or pornography, adult material that's harmful to children um, and anything that's obscene. Jim Johnson studies technology in education. He works with schools and says they're often working hard to balance safety with information. No software is perfect. It has to be tweaked a lot and I spend a lot of time tweaking ours with input from the teachers. The librarian especially helps a lot. Uh, talking with the principals and the superintendents of all your school districts is always important. In the meantime, these students say they're learning another important lesson offline. What's amazing is that our school was very supportive. They wanted us to come out and practice citizen citizenship and the freedom of assembly and free speech, and that's exactly what we got to do today. In Olney, Illinois, with photojournalist Tony Casasia, Joe Ostrowski, News 10. Well, the students tell us their march is actually part of a class project that involves learning about issues.